a couple of snake, a spider, some glue. And here he is, America's foremost authority on space, because his head is full of it, Mr. Noida. <laughs> Don't you daisy me. I'll tell you why he's never gotten married. It's all right here in this book. Let the book talk for itself. Toast? Oh, but... Gee, done to a golden black. <laughs> well, if you don't like the way I toast it, why don't you toast it yourself? Well, I just mentioned that... You know, I'm sick and tired of hearing every morning about the toast for breakfast. Well, I... And did. if I hear another word tomorrow about the toast in the morning... Company, halt! Well, come, girls. It's time to go to work. Just a minute, you good for nothing cheap fur coat. Oh, would you just look? Just look at the mess you made. Now understand this, Thomas. If you break one more thing, you're going out. O W T out. Cigarettes, cigarettes, king size, king size. Grandma! Oh, Sunny boy, there you are. All right. <laughs> Grandma, tell us a little about Donald as a boy. How about his school days? Well, he did have a little trouble going to school in the morning, but it wasn't his fault. Every morning I sent him off to school neat and proper. But you know how little boys are. They have to work out their own problems. Let me warn you, Sylvester, for absolutely the last time, if there's one little feather, just one little feather harmed of this bird, I'm going to send you to the violin string factory. Remember... <laughs> Think, Dolly, think. There must be something really rotten we can do today. I'm thinking, but the worst I come up with is helping to make Moose and Squirtle show one hour longer. I have it, Dolly. A contest. I like being evil because, in 25 words or less. I like it, I like it. Scram! <laughs>